Hi, if you're just tuning in, I've been talking about the many ways that the pill wrecks the health and the integrity of, of the digestive system. In the past video, I've talked about the pill and gut dysbiosis. I've talked about the pill and gut inflammation. I've talked about the pill and leaky gut or intestinal permeability. I talked about the pill and gastrointestinal motility and the connection between motility and the development of SIBO. Well, in today's video, I want to talk about the impact that the pill has on gallbladder function. You see, one of the major problems that develops when women start taking the pill or HRT or fertility shots or begins implementing the use of an IUD is that of excess estrogen or estrogen dominance. Now again, estrogen dominance is an all too common problem that we see in women who do start using birth control pills and women who have had trouble conceiving and have resorted to these high doses of injections and fertility shots. Excess estrogen or estrogen dominance occurs when there is an imbalance between the sex hormones estrogen and progesterone. You see, estrogen dominance uh, causes the bile to become thick and it causes the bile to become sluggish. It prevents it from flowing properly and this can lead to gallstones. Now we can see here from a study that was done in 2016 showing how chronic use of estrogen, like that seen in the pill and HRT, causes gallstones and high cholesterol. Here's another study from 2013 titled Estrogen Induced Cholestasis. Now what this means essentially is that estrogen causes a block in the bile flow from the liver into the intestines. Now the reason I show you these two recent studies is that many doctors will say that birth control pills, well they don't cause gallbladder problems, that these problems really were seen in the older generation of birth control pills where the amount of estrogen in the pill was much higher than uh, the birth control pills of today. Well that's nonsense, that's why I show you these dates. Here's another study showing that oral contraceptives and the risk of gallbladder disease. Again, the same findings were reported. So what is bile and why is it important? Well, bile is a dark green, yellowish, brownish fluid produced by the liver that aids in the digestion of fats in the small intestine. It helps you absorb fats, prevents high cholesterol in the blood, and when bile becomes thick and sludge-like because of, let's say, the pill, you can imagine that it's not going to flow properly. It's not going to flow the way it's supposed to. And sometimes a condition called biliary dyskinesia can develop. Now, the production and flow of that bile is critical to your health in many, many different ways. Number one, healthy bile flow is needed to get rid of toxins, to get rid of waste, to get rid of bacteria. Bile is needed to get rid of heavy metals that you come in contact with. It's never a good idea to have high levels of metals in your blood. Bile is also needed to remove excess hormones, especially in the case of estrogen dominance or in the case where a woman, again, has had fertility shots. Bile is needed in order to get rid of the metabolites of, of our medications. Bile is needed in order to remove cholesterol and remove excess red blood cells from the body. Bile is needed in order to absorb fats and, and absorb fat-soluble vitamins like the ones A, D, E, and K in the small intestines. So as you can see, bile and the flow of bile is so very important to so many different areas of our body. Now here's where it really gets interesting. If you just start Googling the symptoms of, let's say, a vitamin A deficiency or vitamin D deficiency or vitamin E deficiency or vitamin K deficiency, you'll soon start to see just how vital fats and fat-soluble vitamins are to our body and how important vitamins like A, D, E, and K are to gut health. Now there's one more thing I want you to be aware of that uh, is related to the symptoms of poor bile flow. For one, if bile doesn't flow properly, toxins are going to stay in our body longer, right? You're going to reabsorb these toxins. Now you can get abdominal pain, you can have shoulder pain, you can have nausea and bloating uh, after you eat a meal. You could have pain in the upper right quadrant of your abdomen. You can have mental health problems if you can't get rid of those heavy metals. In fact, according to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, excess estrogen can increase cholesterol levels in bile and decrease gallbladder contractions, which again may cause gallstones to form. Now impairment of bile, again, especially um, when it gets bad enough, will begin to show up on blood testing. Okay? Now some of the markers that you want to look at are going to be things like your serum bilirubin levels, alkaline phosphatase. ALT, AST, um, LDH, and GGTP. So these are actually routine uh, tests that are done 
on a metabolic panel, typically often when you have a, a routine screening. Now, if these markers come back and they're abnormal, very often your doctor is going to either uh, retest these levels or maybe perhaps even order an ultrasound or even uh, run a scan called a HIDA scan to evaluate gallbladder function. It no longer phases me when a young woman consults my office because the primary concern that she had was a hormonal problem and it turns out that her gallbladder has been removed. Right? Removing the gallbladder is going to put more stress on your liver. I would estimate that anywhere between 50 to 75 percent of the time that when a woman has a hormonal problem she's also going to have problems with her liver and her gallbladder as these are often working uh, as a team. Now, if you're a woman and you've had your gallbladder removed after being on birth control pills or HRT or even fertility shots and you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment below. Tell us what you have found. Right? What you're going to find is that many of you that, that this has happened to, you're not alone. Right? In 20 years of practice, I no longer find this to just be a coincidence. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed today's video on the effects that birth control pills have on the gallbladder. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on that red button below. Make sure you turn on your post notifications. In my next video, I'm going to talk about the pill's effects on liver function and how that also ties into your thyroid gland. Now, if you're a woman who's, or a man who's experienced um, unwanted symptoms like fatigue and brain fog and weight gain, don't miss the next video. All right? So until next time.